Hi, this is Sweet Life and I'm Natasha with a recipe for making smoky and sweet barbecue ribs, a perfect option for cooking during the summer. This recipe starts with simply grilled ribs that are flavored with the smoke from wood chips. We add extra pizzazz with a barbecue sauce that's a great combination of sweet, spicy, and tangy. I make ribs year round, but as with other types of meat, I switch things up a little bit in the summer and put it on the grill. These are going to be sweet and smoky. It's a simple instruction for making ribs that you can adjust accordingly with different sauces. But here I'm going to show you how to put together a really simple barbecue sauce that goes amazingly well with these ribs, but that can also be adapted for use with chicken or any other kind of meat that you might want to grill. So here we have half cup or so of ketchup, a few tablespoons of chili garlic sauce, Two tablespoons of brown sugar and a light dash of cayenne pepper. I don't want it to be super hot, just you know a little bit of heat to it. It's maybe you know less than a half teaspoon or so. And then just a little bit of regular store-bought barbecue sauce. I find like straight out of the bottle it's not all that great, so I like to jazz it up a little bit by adding a few of my own little seasonings. A sprinkle of garlic powder some black pepper, roughly about the same amount, and just a sprinkle of some ground ginger. And to this I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. You don't get the full flavor of it right now until it heats, but you can just take a little taste and see if you need to adjust. So it has just enough spice, it's not too salty, it's not too hot. A little bit of tang from the vinegar, but I actually think it could use a little bit more sugar. One more tablespoon of brown sugar. If you wanted, you could add honey to it. Just break it on the side so it doesn't burn, and then just let it heat on low heat. And so now we have our barbecue sauce. Here I have just the cornstarch and I've added a few tablespoons of water to it. You want to stir it so that you don't end up with any lumps. And if you give it just a few minutes, you'll notice that it'll start to thicken. So here we have some cherry wood chips, just soaking in a bowl with some water. We soak these for about a half hour or so. And then take them, put them into a smoker box. I have a cast iron one, and you put that on the hot grill, and it gives off good smoke and gives your food good flavor. You can usually just set this up a little bit before you turn on your grill. So by the time the grill is hot, the wood chip should be soaked and you'll be good to go. So right now the temperature is at 350. I actually want to have it closer to about 300. And I just have some ribs here grilling, smoke a box in the corner. You can see, got a gas grill going here, five burners. I turned three of them off so I could control the temperature. I actually don't want it over high heat. Instead, I want it to cook at about 300 so it'll be nice and moist, but I don't want it to like burn or to brown too quickly. Now bear in mind this sauce, because it has some sugar content to it, you wouldn't want to put it on the ribs from the beginning, right? You want to get the ribs a good way going on the grill to where they're pretty much done and it's really just the last 20 or so minutes, That's or even like 15, 10, 15 minutes, that's when you want to brush the sauce on. The reason being that if you brush on the barbecue sauce from the beginning, it's really just going to make a mess. It's saucy, it's runny, it's going to get all over the grill grates. That's the first thing. And as the meat cooks, because remember, this is meat, it's going to take a good little while to cook. So here we have just a little bit of oil that I'm spraying on the meat. With that, I'm just going to give this a flip. I don't want the heat to be super hot. 
this one so we could brown the meat a bit. You want to let the meat cook most of the way and in just maybe the last 10 to 15 minutes or so where if you were using your oven inside you would take the foil off to allow it to brown and get some color. That's kind of like the concept here where you're going to cook it the majority of the way and then just that last little bit of time that's when you're going to brush your barbecue sauce on and just let it cook the rest of the way to allow the sugars and whatnot to caramelize, get it all nice and sucked into the meat and everything. And it's like you can brush on the barbecue sauce towards the end and just let it cook a little bit. But even once you're done, because the meat is cooked, you can reserve some of the sauce and then like, you know, serve it on the side of the meat. You know, or it'll basically serve as like a table sauce where people can add even more sauce to their liking. They can drizzle it on over like some of the sides that they might be eating. And so, like I said, this recipe allows you to cook outside thereby keeping your house nice and cool and this is really a guide not so much a recipe for grilling ribs right Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my cooking at home playlist. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.